Granada TV. After 25 long years off the air, Lionel the Lamb and um, Roy Shepard reunite for a special episode of the game show, Smartest in the Flock. With me, Roy Shepherd. And me, Lionel the Lamb. It's been a long 25 years in that cupboard. At least it was sheep bread back. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, let's meet tonight's contestant, shall we? Hello, player number one. Who are you and where are you from? Hello, um, I'm Brian. I'm from Scarborough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, I'm part of the local council. Eh? We're organising an event to try and break the world record for largest baked bean bat. <laughs> we've only got one can so far, but we're trying. Right. Contestant number two. Oh, hello, star of stage and screen. Hi there. Nice to see you again, Lionel. Oh, hello, star of stage and screen, Bonnie Langford. I'm not going to go to the funeral. Sad day. Nice turn. I went to a funeral. Why wasn't I invited? Uh, a list of celebrities only. Did you not make the list? Uh, Roy. Oh, Roy. Shepherd. Shepherd. Yes. I added you on Facebook three years ago. Still waiting for you to add me back. Oh, did I not add you? Yeah. Sorry, I must have been busy with my career. Not that you know anything about that. Oh, oh. I'll do it after the show. Do it now. Do it now. Okay. Uh, is that you? No, he's going. Okay. Not like you. It's a bit like me. No, it's Ray Shepard. I'll do it now. Can't find me anyway. Thank you again, star of stage and screen, Bonnie Langford. <laughs> Why do you have to keep saying that? Oh, uh, it's in my contract. <laughs> yeah, it's in my contract. <laughs> and <laughs> contestant number three. No, I'm the assistant floor manager. You look about 12. Where's contestant number three? We <laughs> all of our budget on Star of Stage and Screen, Bonnie and Anthony. I have a very high fee. You're yeah, lucky you've got two contestants. Brian just wandered in. <laughs> Is that Sainsbury's? <laughs> <laughs> and we still haven't recovered from that contestant soon due to your reaction to Lionel's wool. I'm synthetic now. <laughs> After a lengthy court case and 50,000 in legal fees. What do you expect, Mary? I'm a sheep! I'm a shop! I'm a sheep! You still oh, thank you, Lionel, that's enough! <laughs> Can we give a round of applause, everyone, to our three? Sorry? Two contestants, including <laughs> Star of the Screen, Bonnie Langford! But don't worry, you two can play along at home. You don't need to be part of our studio audience! What? We've got an audience? More of a turnout than you have for your racy solo stand up show, isn't it, Roy? I went through to Night Street and removed all the racist jokes. <laughs> Here's the new script. It's blank. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder. Tonight's winner will take home what's inside of this briefcase. Ooh. Ooh. Shall we find out, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. <laughs> open, what, open. Wait. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've, yeah, I've seemed to have forgotten the rest of the code. I told you to write it down, Roy. Well, I've not opened it for 30 years. Um, let's have a quick start around. What's the combination to the briefcase? Our contestants must work out the combination to find out what's in the box. Tell you what, it's probably one. I bet it's one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to be one. three digits. Oh. 
Tengok. Zero, zero, one. <laughs> no. Okay. Zero, zero, two. <laughs> no. Zero, zero, three. No, right. Zero, zero, four. No, right. Let's move on to our next round then, oh, shall we? Have you tried zero, zero, five? <laughs> Let's move on to our next round then, shall we? Don't be the black sheep. Uh, is that a bit red, is it right? <laughs> it was fine in the 80s, so it's fine now. Jimmy Savile was fine in the 80s. <laughs> 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 it's not fine now, not bad. Just that bad. We've got a message from the producer. Mr Chapman doesn't think any of this is appropriate, and we need to change the name of the round as well. It's not politically correct. Politically correct? You never were politically correct, Roy. Right? That's why they call you racist. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, well, final M. In this round, I'll think of a category. I'll think of a word relating to that category, and you almost avoid saying what's in my head. The first category is TV shows I've been in in the past 25 years. Oh, that will be hard, Roy. You've not been on TV in the past 30 years. You're racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I might be featuring on I'm a Celebrity soon. Oh, you could be eating my balls on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> Just dirty. Right. <laughs> I've got my answer locked in my brain, so let's find out who will be the black show. And just start. Brian, <laughs> what TV show have I featured in the past 25 years? Zero, zero, six. <laughs> no, we need a, a, a TV show. I, I, don't, I don't watch TV. Just name any TV show. <laughs> no, I can't do that. No. <laughs> You're on one right now. I'm on TV right now. Why are you on? <laughs> oh, well, she's dead, isn't she? <laughs> Contestant number two, star of Stage and Screen, Bonnie Langford. What TV show have I been in in the past 25 years? Oh, I've been in loads of TV shows. No, no, Bonnie. TV shows I've been in. Oh, all right. Um, I mean, you know who's a tipping point? No, that's Ben Shepherd. <laughs> that's not you? No, oh, I'm Roy Shepherd. Different people. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a shame. I like Ben Shepherd. He's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone name a TV show I've been in in the past 25 years? No, it's in the floor. He knows it. No. <laughs> well, that was pointless. Pointless. <laughs> you were on pointless, weren't you? I was never on pointless. You're very pointless, though, Roy. Wait a minute, Lionel. Didn't we do pointless together? Oh, the pointless panto special. We were Beauty and the Beast at the Blackpool Grand five years ago. I was the beast. Right. <laughs> Why didn't they ask me? Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, Roy. They thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> what TV show are you thinking of, Roy? I was on hit Channel 5 show, Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away. <laughs> well, Tony, if you didn't guess that at home, I think it's time we took a break. We'll see you shortly. Bye-bye! They took it all from me. I've got nothing left. <laughs> what? <Well, laughs> it's not even funny. And great. Right, everyone got a few notes. You bonnet. I need mean, Can I have some water, please? It's really hot down here and I need to take the tablets. You know, I've actually been on TV before, actually, yeah. What do you mean you're taking tablets? I'm on some new medication, but doctors say I really shouldn't be doing this. You know, I could have done this without you. Yeah? They wouldn't have had your role. You know what they say? You can't have the sheep without the shepherd. You're washed up, Roy. No one will take you after the incident. Oh, we had these two kiddies down the well, and we tried everything. Helium balloons, some matey bubble bath, a third child, as we thought that might help dislodge him somehow. No, just ended up with three stuck down there. <laughs> so what I did was I called my friend, famous rock climber Neil Edmonds. You won't believe who turned up. It wasn't in fact famous rock climber and my good friend Neil Edmonds, no. It was his brother, Noel Edmonds. <laughs> deal or no deal, yeah. Roy, you need to be more positive. The producers are feeling very threatened through their screens. It's how I've always been. It's what I've been telling you, Roy. Times have changed. You need to move on. I moved on. So now you've got Noel Edmonds, three kiddies, the old knitting committee, two bags of bricks, Mrs Donaldson's now flat cat, and the touring production of Riverdance all stuck down this well. Because there was only one thing for Why it. Why didn't you just use a ladder? Hmm? Shit. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Roy, can you get your briefcase open, please? Can't you see I'm trying? 
Shit, you're dropping you count inside. <laughs> Kiss your mouth. <laughs> Shit, my arm's stuck on the box. Well, welcome to my life, Ron. Now try and make a career out of it. How am I meant to present a show on the arm's stuck on a briefcase? <laughs> Total wipeout and one of the big red bouncy balls. <laughs> <laughs> and studio audience applause! Hello! And welcome back to Smartest in the Flock with me, Roy Shepherd, and um. <laughs> and um. And Lionel Alan, who uh, seems to be feeling a little sleepy tonight. Are my jokes really that boring, Lionel? They're quite poor, yes. <laughs> Roger, you're right. Can we just keep going, please? Have you tried 007? It's <laughs> <laughs> like that Jason Bond fella. Roger, you're right. I think we need a medic. He's losing lots of blood. He's not breathing. Well, just call an ambulance then. Just as I can actually show that you don't carry on. I'm calling my agent in a minute. It's the shambles. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Well, Lionel, what's the next round? Oh, I wonder, uh, Roy. Uh, the next round's on the cue card that's in the briefcase. So, um, back to round one. What's the combination to the briefcase, Bonnie? Star of Satan's screen, Bonnie Langford, actually. Oh, flock <laughs> off, Bonnie Langford. <laughs> How dare you, Ben? You just lost your biggest star, off stage and screen. Oh, I'm not friendly on Facebook, Ray. Roy! <laughs> Zero, zero, eight. <laughs> There's no one else there, you won. Zero, zero, nine. Jesus. <laughs> Would you stick to the script, please? How am I meant to stick to the script with a briefcase stuck to me and Bonnie Langford's locked off? Star of Satan's green! How did you let me my name to this And thing? Rogers died. This was not how the show was meant to go. My whole career, I've always been outshone by a flipping sheep. <laughs> they always wanted him, not me. Oh, can we have him on Wheel of Fortune? Oh, can we have, can you stop that, please? Can we have him on Wheel of Fortune? Can we have him on Top of the Pops? Can we have him read us a bedtime story? I can read you a bedtime story. He doesn't even have real eyes. Well, you're the one in control, right? You can change it. But I'm not in control. I tell you what, it's probably my lucky number. 364. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's 50p! <laughs> this isn't a deal, no deal. No. This is smartest in the flock. <laughs> no, but you died. Yep. But well, here in your mind, I live on forever. My last show, 25 years ago, playing on repeat. No, I, I can't do it in I can't keep losing you. So let me go. You can't have the shepherd without the sheep. It's almost time. Do you really want to do this again? God. And studio audience applause!